I have to ask you about something you said earlier this week. Let's roll that soundbite. Let's not let's not let's not pretend for a minute that both sides have the same the same amount of accountability for for the loss of confidence in our elections. One side has been out there for a couple of years now doing everything they can to pretend Joe Biden didn't win fair and square. The thing is, Democrats writ large have spent 53 million dollars supporting far right candidates, election deniers in the primaries, including the DCCC. By amplifying these election deniers, aren't you holding responsibility to a degree for the undermining of democracy that you're also warning about? Oh, my God. Uh, Jake, let's, let's be really clear. What that question you just played was about was who's questioning the outcome of elections. And that started with Donald Trump, and we all know it. And, and let's be clear. That $53 million, look, it's $400,000 at the DCCC in one race, one, where we ran a true general election ad two weeks early, calling John Gibbs an extremist who's too conservative for Western Michigan. Yeah, to boost And him. Hillary Skolton, who's a great candidate, excuse me, is going to beat him like a drum. So if you want to ask the people who spent all that other money, that's great. And let's be clear, not one dime was spent from the DCCC supporting any Republican. It was spent criticizing a Republican for being too extreme, and it is going to result in a, in a pro-choice, strong candidate named Hillary Skolton winning that race. Come on. You guys were boosting John Gibbs, an election denier, a MAGA Republican, so that he would beat Congressman Peter Meyer, uh, who voted to impeach Donald Trump after the Capitol attacks. You thought Gibbs would be easier for your Democratic candidate to beat, so you boosted him. That's, that's the only reason he won that race. Well, you're, you're using that word boost to be kind of cute. Other people say we're kind of funding their campaigns. It's ridiculous. We're attacking them, but we are absolutely right. We thought he was an easier candidate, and he has proven to be because he's a nut, and he's too conservative for Western Michigan, and Hillary Skolton is getting ready to beat him. And that is my focus, is making sure we bring, you know, common sense Democrats to Congress who are going to move our country forward. And let's be clear again. $400,000 out of a $340 million budget. So if you want to warm up these leftovers, we can keep going. But right now, we've got, we've got five or six days until we have an, a, an election, and that's, that's where my focus is. And we're going to win that seat in Michigan 3. Well, that $400,000 for John Gibbs did boost him, and he beat Congressman Peter Meyer. Peter Meyer, who did something uh, braver than I've, than I've seen in terms of most members of Congress, in terms of bucking his party to be one of 10 Republicans to vote to impeach Donald Trump. When people like you say, where are all the good Republicans? You helped defeat one of them. Jake, let's be clear. If, if, if your point is that I should, in some sort of exercise of defeatism, stop trying to beat Republicans in vulnerable seats who are going to vote for Kevin McCarthy and put Jim Jordan at the head of the Judiciary Committee, where they're going to take away your reproductive freedom, pass a national ban on abortion, give you two years of Hunter Biden and nothing else. If your point is that I should roll over, pull a bunch of punches, and I guess make somebody in the media feel better, because, because what? Because we hope that some of these Democrats will be nice to us? How about we elect some people who are actually good on issues like choice or gun safety or on supporting leaders who won't, who won't support an insurrection? And Peter Meyer was going to vote for the majority that, that on January 6 voted to set aside the election. That's a district that Joe Biden won with 56% of the vote, and we're going to win it. And I have said, and I mean it, there are difficult moral and philosophical questions in politics. You better believe it. But let's be really clear. This is $400,000 in a budget of $300 million, one race, one in the entire cycle, where we ran a general election ad that was perfectly true, calling the guy an extremist, and Hillary Skolton's going to win. That's what we're talking about. All right, Congressman Maloney, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a, a good rest of your week. I know you're going to be busy.